hello my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while since you guys last seen me and what a journey it has been but i'm not here to bore you and i'm not here to go into detail as to where i've been and what i've been doing because i took a poll on my Instagram about a couple weeks ago. Most of you guys said that you would just rather have me continue my normal content without having to explain. So honestly, that's what I'm gonna do. So I wanna jump into today's story time, but before I do that, I would really, really appreciate if you guys could go ahead and subscribe. And also if you can hit that like button once this video is over, if you guys did enjoy it, it would really help me a lot to stay motivated. As you guys know, it's very difficult to stay motivated here on YouTube. So I figured since um, Halloween is upon us and it's October time, the fall weather is starting to come out a lot. Over here, at least for me, it takes a long time because where I live is in the desert area. And girl, it just takes forever for seasons to catch up over here, okay? I figured that what better to come back with a kind of creepy-ish story time. Today's story time is gonna be about one little eerie night that me and my friends, we went out to try to have us a good old time to try to have some fun, to try to have us a girl night, and we ended up being stalked all the way home. And I hope they don't mind me telling this story because I'm just gonna be honest in it. I'm just gonna say what happened. I'm gonna say how we acted. I'm gonna like spill it all. Though this story time is a little creepy, um, it's also kind of funny. So, and I'm gonna try to recount the story as best to my ability because this was quite a long time ago. So me and my girls, we wanted to have a little like girls day. We wanted to go out to the movies. We wanted to, you know, get something to eat, just chill and vibe out all that good stuff and just have us a good old time, right? I kind of have to set the premises for you guys. So you get like the visual in your head. Where we lived, where me and my sister lived at the time, we lived down, basically down the street from a movie theater. Though the movie theater was not that far by driving, by walking, it was pretty far. We planned this to happen about mid-afternoon, maybe around five or six o'clock. Uh, we were young girls, we were young teens, we were just little shouties. We did not have a car, so we did not have a means to get to point A to point B. So what we did was decided to walk there. Hence the whole reason why I even said that, you know, the walking distance thing and why it was far. But anyway, we planned it. We got all ready. Um, they came over to our house, I believe. Um, we were getting ready, you know, we were gonna go head out. It took maybe about 10, 15 minutes, I wanna say. Uh, to walk from our house to the movie theater. Might I add too that it was like kind of during summertime so it was a little hot outside and it just it wasn't always the funnest of times during the summer out here especially when you got to walk like girl you just sweat you perspire you got to carry extra deodorant like the whole the whole nine yards. <laughs> but either way that's neither here or there but so after the movies, we wanted to get something to eat. There was a Del Taco, and hopefully you guys know what Del Taco is. If you don't, it's a fast food joint that sells Americanized Mexican food, but it's really bomb. My favorite thing to order there is like their chili cheese fries, though I haven't ordered there in like years because as you guys know, I'm vegan and blah, 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 all that stuff, plant-based. At the time, that was my jam. I love me some chili cheese fries. <laughs> like don't mess with me and my chili cheese fries, okay? So from the movie theater to Del Taco, was probably a good like five minutes of a walk. So everything was just on our way back home. Everything we needed was on our way back home, out of the movie theater, then there was food, and then there was home. So everything was like, you know, a straight shot basically. So we go to Del Taco, we get our food, we go inside, uh, we order our food, blah, blah, blah. We have our food with us. Now we're ready to go home because we want to eat our food, get our grub on, 
all that stuff. They were spending the night too, which is why I say that they were coming back to like our home and all that stuff. Because again, we were trying to have a girl's day. So it was like a slumber party. It was us going to the movies, getting food, chismeando, gossiping for those who don't know what chismeando means. Now we got our food, we're going back home. Now on our way back home, there's also an area where there used to be a mall. The mall closed down a while back ago, so that area really was just kind of abandoned. They made like a kind of like little school around that little vicinity. Um, but other than that, like it was really empty. Oh, and there was also like a little jack in the box, like a little burger joint, <laughs> like right there too. So otherwise than that, like that whole lot was very empty. They had like a few lights in the parking lot area um and sometimes they would have like a security like riding around but this night of course of all nights there wasn't a security guard around basically what i'm trying to say is that 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 area is like empty like no one really goes there especially at nighttime there's no reason to be there so we're just strolling along we're just talking we're talking probably about the movie and then we're just talking about girl stuff you know how it is we're just trying to get home then as we're walking by the empty lot um we see a guy standing behind these big old bushes because the whole sidewalk um is covered with like a line of bushes and then, you know, it's the parking lot, right? So hopefully I'm painting the picture, right? So it's just covered in a bunch of bushes in across the sidewalk. And then there's like the parking lot of like the mall or the used to be mall and all that stuff. So there was a guy that was standing right there, right behind like the bushes. And he was staring at us. And we can see him as we're approaching him, basically approaching the area. And we can see him from afar, right? But we're like, it's all good. Like, obviously, it's probably just like some homeless guy, you know, whatever. Like, do your thing. We're not here to bug you, sir. Okay, just let us have a good old time. We're going to let you have a good old time. Carry on with your rest of your night. Let us carry on with our night. You know what I mean? Just like a mutual respect kind of thing. Then as we get closer, we're like right there, basically, where the guy is. We're just walking. We're just walking. Then he says something to us and for the life of me, like I said, I cannot remember what he said, but he said something and we were just like, oh, I I'm sorry. I either he was asking for money or he was asking for something like he asked for something and we were just like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Like, what, what was that? And he said it again and still couldn't understand him couldn't make a word out of it like could not understand him so we're just like okay like i think we just need to keep it moving because like he's not making any sense and there's really no reason for us to sit here and try to like decode whatever he's trying to tell us you know so we're just like okay like sorry sir okay like uh, you know like have a good night whatever you know because we just can't understand assuming that he's not like even mentally there you know so he's probably not even going to realize that we're like trying to speed it up and like you know not being rude just being very focused on our route home oh there goes my kitty <laughs> you always want to be all up in the mix so i'm gonna kind of hold her for a little bit because she's my little cuddle partner so we try to ignore him and just keep walking then as we keep walking, he keeps trying to like say something, keeps trying to get our attention. We just try to ignore it, whatever. Then we noticed that, so this is how it was kind of set up. My sister and, uh, it's funny is that because like me and my sister, obviously like we were sisters, then our friends, they were both sisters as well. So it was like sisters, sister, sister. <laughs> my sister was up front with one of our, with one of the sisters. Then I was behind obviously with the other sister. So I keep telling my friend, um, like, God, I, I forgot exactly, but I was uh, something along the lines of like, you know, he keeps, he keeps like trying to talk to us. And I'm like, girl, he keeps trying to say something and like, we don't understand. And I was just like, hopefully he just leaves us alone and blah, blah, blah. And she was just like, yeah, I know. Like, she's like, it's kind of creepy, dude. And I was just like, I know, but like, let's just ignore it. Let's just keep like moving forward, you know? Hopefully I'm not dragging the story because like, I'm literally just trying to paint the picture, paint the night and give you guys all the juicy details of like our night, you know, so you could really feel like you were like there. So then uh, I start noticing, cause I'm keeping like an eye on him basically. As we keep walking, 
now he's starting to walk with us like behind us basically but with us in the sense of like obviously just trying to keep up with us so i'm just like okay shoot like okay like don't panic like it's okay you know my brother my brother he teaches uh sistema which is a russian martial art and he has taught me some stuff um about like how to defend yourself and stuff like that so in my mind i was just like okay just try to remember everything just in case something happens just in case he tries to like come after us or whatever like just try to remember what you can to save y'all's lives you know so that's what i have going on in my head and i tell them and they notice too so i was just like girls like he's following us and i try not to say it that loud but I was just like, he's literally following us. And then we all noticed that he was like following us and we were just low key kind of panicking. And so at this point, we're just trying to keep it together. You know, uh, we're trying to figure out like, how can we escalate the situation a little bit? You know, uh, just trying to play it out in our minds. So we're just like, just let's just keep calm. Let's just not freak out too much. You know, one of my girls, the one that was up front with my sister, she started panicking a little bit more started kind of freaking out started getting a little scared and that was just obviously like creating a little bit more of like that panic inside of us where we're just like okay like we're really trying not to freak out here but we're kind of low-key still freaking out and then she's kind of freaking out so it's kind of making us freak out you know that whole thing and we're all just kind of freaking out <laughs> amongst ourselves and so we're just like really just trying to figure it out we keep walking home and I keep thinking like, fuck, like, what am I going to do? Like, how am I going to like work this situation? I stayed behind with my friend because I've always had this thing inside of me where I just feel the need to protect. Like, I feel like I have to protect people. It's just in my nature. I will put myself in harm's way, apparently. I guess I love them that much. <laughs> Again, we're walking, we're walking. He's still behind us and we're getting closer to our home now. And we're just like, okay, we just have to make it home. We just have to make it home, you know, because there's like a little gate basically into our apartment complex area. So that gate, it closes, it locks, you know? So, and I think I couldn't remember if it was a code or if it was just a key. So we're approaching our apartment area. The guy is still behind us. At this point, I don't think he's talking anymore. I don't think he's trying to say anything anymore. He's just walking behind us. And I was just like, damn, like again, like thinking like, what if he has a knife? What if he tries to, you know, I don't know, attack us. What if he even has a gun? God forbid, but like, I don't know, you know? So in my mind, I'm trying to strategize what I can do, all that stuff. But like, nothing's coming into mind besides the fact that I would just have to step in the way. Like I can only think about trying to defend myself. I can only think about trying to fight back. That's literally it. That's all that's coming into my mind. Literally, oh, our thing was just fight or flight mode at this point. Survival. Just get home. You know what I mean? Just try to get away from him as fast as possible. But without making it too obvious. Because I feel like if we were to run, if we were to have really panicked, it would have just caused an even bigger scene. Um, or caused like more motivation or something like that for him to like want to attack or want to do something. So the best thing I think that we did was just to try to remain as calm as possible. Again, even though my friend was over there freaking out and shit. It was like to the point where I think she was like on the verge of tears where I think she was just like, oh my God, like I think we're gonna die. Like we're literally gonna die. And I was just like, girl, like we're not gonna die. Not tonight, okay? We're approaching the door. He's right behind us at this point though, okay? Like granted, I said, let's uh, walk, not run, but at this point, when we were probably just like a minute or two away from getting to the door, I was like, pick up the pace. We need to get to that door faster. So we're just like, now we're kind of hustling. We're kind of moving. Okay. We're kind of not jogging, but we're speed walking now. We're like, do, 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 do. You know what I mean? So now we're getting closer to the door. The guy is still over there, but I was just like, let's go. Let's go. You know? So we're right there at the door guy's still right behind us and i'm just like okay let's get moving let's get moving i'm trying to take the key out of my out of whatever pocket or a pocket or a purse or whatever i had it in take the key out and bam get right to the door fucking unlock the door open that bitch open get us all inside close the door lock it <laughs> and like that was it luckily we got inside 
okay once we got in we were just like girl my god we literally almost died up in there this would have been my last night on earth and all this stuff like we just we were we were we were thanking the lord we were thanking the Lord that night, yes. I mean, we were just, we were talking about it. We kept going over in our minds, just like, what did he want? Did he want to do something to us? Like, it was four against one, don't get it twisted. But you got to think, we were four teenage girls. It just, it still didn't matter that it was four of us against him. Things could have went really, really wrong if, 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 if we would have made the wrong move, if we would have made a wrong choice or said the wrong thing, like really, who knows, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. Um, let me know if you guys liked it. Let me know if you guys ever had any like stalker-ish kind of experiences like that. Let me know down in the comments below. Again, I really appreciate you guys and I'm really glad to be back. And I hope that I could just continue making good content for you guys. I hope that this was a good story enough to, you know, to share the Halloween fall spirit uh, energies that are around right now. <laughs> Hopefully I made the story time somewhat entertaining. I really was trying because it's been a while. Like I said, it's been a while since I made a video. It's been a while since I've told you guys a story time. So I hope I did okay. If not, go me caca pues, okay? <laughs> So I will see you guys in my next story time video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to hit that like button and please don't forget to share if you do like my content. And I hope to see you guys very soon. I love you all. Thank you all for being here and continuing to support me and continue to stick around with my funky unstable ass. So I'll see you guys later. Be careful out there and stay safe. Bye.